Welcome back to Perfect Leverage Golf and welcome back to Myrtle Beach. Today, we're tackling one of the famed courses and one of the higher rated courses in the Myrtle Beach area. This course is also boasted as Dustin Johnson's home course. So today, we're trying to take down 6,900 yards from the back tee box to see what a perfectly average golfer can shoot at TPC Myrtle Beach. Today's conditions are also going to be super tested as it's very cold, very windy, and super rainy. So let's see what we can put together on our final round this year at Myrtle Beach. All right, let's get started. 377 yard par four dog legging to the left. Need this tee shot to land in between these two bunkers and hopefully we'll have a wedge in. I'll join you, Tony. Okay. I think so. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, we got about 123 here. I got 50 degrees. We're going to be taking easy shots pretty much all day today. It's cold, it's wet, and the ball probably won't fly as far. Well, will help me win. Just over to the right side of this big tree, kind of yellow. Hole number two, straight away beautiful par five, playing about 550 yards. A little bit of bunkerage you have to worry about, and then the lake to cover on our second shot, pending we hit a good one here first. It's just going to be real close on that left side, eh? Alright, we're going to take a little six iron here. Just going to play layup. We don't really obviously have a look at the green. It's also really far away. Playing straight up towards this big tall tree that is. Thank you. Long on the right. Now we're out. I love that speed though. Yeah, that slowed down a lot of the already went here. Okay. Pretty intimidating tee shot here on hole three. You have to cover the marsh and then you go straight into a tight fairway line by trees. So not just the distance, but also the layout makes this par four real tough. Your ball, your ball came out of your pocket. That's hilarious. <laughs> Quite a hand trick. All right, great drive there. Got about one, 38, 135, front pin, I got P wedge. Again, just figuring that smooth swing will be more than fine. Okay, thank you. Something about tough conditions, whether it's cold or rain in particular, wind not so much. I feel like I just focus up a little bit more and I always play a lot better. So far so good, let's keep it up. Another long par four, 446 yards here from the back, but it is straight away with just a couple of bunkers that lie in our way as we try to approach this green. So another good drive here definitely leaves a scoring chance. Thank you. Feeling it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, great three wood here. Just plugged into the ground, so it didn't really go anywhere. Point lift clean in place, obviously. Got 183, taking six iron. Got a little bit of helping wind up there. Middle of the green would be fine. Good shot. Thank you. To the front side. Rain's starting to get a little heavy. Yeah. 
surprising, right? Yeah. Our first par three here at hole five in the back couple of boxes were closed. We are playing it a bit shorter than intended. We're gonna take a nice little nine iron trying to get over this bunker and hopefully hold the green. Well, it's safe as hell. Yeah. Yeah, it would've been the right distance. Yeah. There. Take that. And mine doesn't want to. That's good. That's a three putt distance that we can live with. Hole six is a dog leg right par five, just playing around 515 yards. Really, you don't need a lot off the tee box here, but if you can get around the corner or touch, you will have an angle to get here in two. No need to do anything crazy here. We don't have an angle of the green. We are playing with clean place. I think I may have said that already, but just confirming. A little bit of standing casual water, but not too bad. I can get through it. We've got P wedge going straight towards the bunker. And we'll have a look in, hopefully. Okay, that'll be. All right, but up and up the bar, take that. Oh, I thought we all just about did it. Okay. Back box is closed here at hole seven's par three, so it's playing about 30 yards shorter than it normally would. Nine iron out again, trying to see if we can actually get this ball on the green. Wow. Hole eight, 364 yard dog leg to the right with bunkers covering the corner. We're just taking three wood here, trying to find the fat open part of the fairway off to the left, seeing if we can get a nice wedge in for the second. Or go right into it? Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell. Okay, we need to stay short of these bunkers. We've got about 115, 116-ish. We got 50 degrees. Okay, everything's just been coming out real slow, plus the green likes to kick back by the look of it. Front pin. Come on. Oh. Just stayed out of the bunker on the left. So it was about the right distance, just didn't quite get to where it needed to directionally. Not bad though, up and up par. We're playing some super solid golf, and it is freezing out here. We'll take all the things. Hope you guys are enjoying. Sub now. Let's go. That looks fun. <laughs> I mean, I don't have any other stance. I just, I mean. To finish the front, we've got a monster par four, 472 yards, needing a great drive here if we even want to have a shot at getting on in two. And the approach shot is difficult with an uphill green. Oh, that's gonna be plugged as all get out. 
Yeah, that's a tall ask right there. I mean, driver, it just, I probably should have played driver off the tee box, but the numbers I'm still kind of thinking is if the conditions are normal. So I just kind of made a bad gut check decision. And that three wood there, I was hoping for the front kind of curtain, but just kind of faded out on me. We'll take it. It's going to be a pretty challenging up and down, but it looks like the pin is on like the back left side of the screen. So hopefully we should be good with like a 58 up and over the bunker. Really, again, playing super well. I'm surprising myself right now. So let's just try to keep it up. Let's see if we can get warm here at the turn too. Amazingly short. Way too soft. Holy cow. Thank you for holding on. Holy, I thought I was about to sneak out the right side. Really pleased with the score to this point, especially with the conditions, and hole 10 gives us a 385 yard par four with water lurking on the right hand side as we approach the green. Thank you. Okay, we're 135 out. We've got a lot of helping wind, mid pin. I'm gonna go 50 degree here. Hope that it's enough cold to cover. I don't want to be too long, so I think the water kind of surrounds the green here. Sweet. Thank you. pretty straight ahead 423 par 4 just did a good tee shot to make sure we cover the water and then it should be a wedge in for our second hopefully scoring again thank you yeah be the number good be the number okay shot up the butt yeah, roll back a little bit. Another beautiful par four, a short one, 333 yards. We are going to try to challenge and take on as much of this hole as possible with driver, hopefully looking for a pitch and putt after that. He'll stay yeah, there. You're, you're Heel side. Oh, it's so heavy. Side slip lie, muddy lie. Pleased with the lag putting on this round as we now head to a longer par three, 199. We're gonna have five iron out, just trying to find a way to get close to this green. Hole 14, a very short par five, but a tricky one as the fairway gets super tight as you get closer to the dog leg and the trees come into play very quickly. Where did that draw come from? All right, so we couldn't find it. There are red stakes down this way, so just taking a drop. There's a big side slope, so I got, I'm not gonna kill myself for playing the rule exactly here. We got five iron, could I just kind of peel one around the corner here. Little three quarter swing, Hooks, hook set up here. Oh, a 
little too long, not enough left turn, but it's gonna be fine. All right, a little punch out. Can't really get to the green here. So just a little chip, seven iron. Good result. Decision time here at hole 15 with the medium length par four. We can try to cover everything over the left side and get close or play it safe off to the right. We've got driver, seeing if we can bounce back after the double. All right, we got about 196, a little into the wind. We got this tree, it's kind of in our way here. So we're taking a four iron, just play a little puncher. Slow swing, low swing. We'll see. Ah. Okay. Bro, that's worth the money now. Wow, I read that completely backwards. Coming to the home stretch, hole 16, 385 yards, the pretty easy opening tee shot, big fairway to hit, but then the second shot, super challenging, everything narrows down and the tree lines come into play. Good. Be a real interesting angle again, though. Got a little 145 into shot here. I'm gonna take eight iron, though. See if we can kind of peel one around the tree just a touch. We have to kind of go right along the tree line. Maybe nine iron gets over it. In fact, I think nine iron does get over it. We're just gonna go straight nine iron. Hey, if we get really good. I think that could be really, really good. All right, good line. Just caught the tree and it must have sat a little bit. We'll finish shot here over the bunker. Gonna open up the face, try to play this pretty high. Like a, like a half flop. Oh, go. Yeah. Oh. That was the exact right idea. Man, too much again. Really sloppy set of doubles in a row as we hit the 17, 191 par three peninsula green. Beautiful look, but a super challenging tier on the screen means we need to put something close. Thank you. That was a six? Yeah, it's thin though. Not gonna lie, it started to get really wet and really cold as we were trying to finish things off. We've got a superb look at this fantastic finishing hole, creek that splits the fairway, and then water covering the green. We need a good drive here to see if we can finish strong. One. All right, real unfortunate. We kind of fell apart here in these last six, seven holes. Lost the ball over the fence, so we're taking a drop. If they had a five iron, we're not gonna be able to get there in these conditions. Just up towards that right bunker. Shut the front door. It's playable, but that is not where we want to be. Definitely should have hit a lot more club than that too. That was a silly, silly choice. Cart path only things, just I don't know. 183, taking the same five iron. Golly, everything's pushing out to the right. Huh. 
<laughs> what band for? Oh man, what a golf course. All right there, perfectly average golfers. A tough stretch of holes to finish, but like I said, it was starting to get really cold and really, really wet after about five hours on the golf course getting absolutely dumped on. So not the finishing score we would have liked, but I will say even with the conditions, TPC Myrtle Beach is definitely up there as one of my all-time favorite courses that I've played out of the seven courses in total now that I've played at Myrtle Beach. That includes playing courses like Dunes Golf and Beach, as well as Polly's Plantation and Tidewater. I, I would say that outside of playing Caledonia, which I have not done yet, this is definitely one of my top two courses to this point. Everything was super straightforward in front of you. It wasn't an easy golf course, but nothing snuck up and bit you where you didn't expect it to. So really, really fair course, really, really fun course. And I'm definitely excited to try to go out there and play it when it's not 42 degrees and raining. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this stretch of Myrtle Beach videos. Make sure you check out the channel for more. And until next point, hopefully you stay out there and you stay perfectly average. Bye-bye.